We all go through tough times in our lives when we're overwhelmed with emotions. Grief, sadness, anger, depression. They're all a normal part of living life, but that doesn't make it any easier when we're overwhelmed and struggling to make sense of what we feel. When I'm working through my own difficult emotions, I like to sit in a quiet place and write out my thoughts. Lately, I've been going through a period of self-doubt, and so today, I'm writing positive and encouraging thoughts on the back of a pretty patterned sheet of paper. I'm going to show you how to take these encouraging thoughts and turn them into a piece of jewelry that you can wear to remind you of your worth when times get tough. Now that I've written all of my thoughts, I'm going to cut this page into strips, which I'll then wind into beads of paper. First, I'll need to mark where I'm going to cut. Decide how wide you want your finished beads to be and mark the edge of your paper accordingly. I'm going to mark my page at every half inch. Turn your page around and mark the other side going from the opposite direction. Now, draw a straight line from the corner of the paper to the first mark on the other side. This will create a triangle shape. Move along the page, drawing your line. When you're finished, your paper should have a series of triangles like this. Cut carefully along the lines, keeping them straight, and be sure there are no jagged edges from your scissors. When all of your triangles are cut, you're ready to roll your beads. I'm using the green size paper bead roller from paperbeadrollers.com. Roll the strip, keeping it centered as you roll. If you don't have a paper bead roller, you can roll the paper using a toothpick, a barbecue skewer, or anything small and round. When you get to the end, tack it down with a bit of white school glue. When all of your strips are rolled, you're ready to harden the beads with glaze. You'll need to use a product that is specifically for hardening. I like to use this Judykins Diamond Glaze. An alternative product that is also easy to find is the Deco Arts Triple Thick. For glazing, I put each of the beads on toothpicks. adjust the shape. If 
you have any beads that aren't shaped quite right, you can push on them to slide the paper and adjust the shape. Brush a thin coat of the glaze on each bead. Careful not to get any glaze on the toothpick. I put the toothpicks in a foam block to stand upright while the beads dry. When the first coat is dry, paint on a second coat. The more coats you add, the shinier your beads will look. You can continue adding coats until you get the look you want. Now that your beads are thoroughly dry, they're hard and water resistant and will stand up to being worn as jewelry. You can do something as simple as stringing the beads on stretch string, or you can watch the other videos in my YouTube channel for ideas on making them into other kinds of jewelry. And now you can keep your encouraging thoughts or thoughts of your loved ones close to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and join us over on Facebook in the Paper Bee Phonetics Facebook group to talk with other paper beaters and show us your own creations. Happy rolling!